Welcome back everyone, Mike McConville here one more time, Stratford, Ontario, Canada. We've got a PRS guitar here. Brian's a long time customer, I've done a bunch of things for him over the last, uh, I don't know, five, six, seven years. This is in for overall setup, switching from a 9 to 46 to a 10 to 46 string. So we don't need to go anywhere near this one with a file. I've got that neck leveled out. We are going to be switching over to a compensated nut. So essentially, as far as the frets go, it's, I'll be scrubbing it out with 600, 1200, emery cloth, and buff. Before we get started on doing the final calibration and putting the compensated nut on this beautiful PRS, let's just look at it the way it sits right now. This is the way everybody has learned to tune a guitar. There's our open E and our 12th fret. Good, it's in tune, right? Okay, well how about the 7th the fret? Yeah, it's in tune too. What about its octave? 12th cent sharp. Okay, so let's go a little higher. Let's go to C sharp. That's in tune. What about its octave? 12 cent sharp. We we'll check that open string again. And the first fret. Oops. 7 cent sharp. Okay, so here's the A string. And its octave. Good. 7th fret. That's 3 cent sharp. It's not that bad. That's it's also about three cents sharp in relation to the open string. Okay, open string again, and first fret. Four cents sharp. There's our open D, and twelfth fret. Good. Seventh fret. Pretty close. Three cents sharp. That's really not that bad. Open string and first fret. Five cents sharp. I'm showing you this because I'm going to go through this again after the compensated net has completed the exact same test. So third string open and twelfth fret. That's pretty well right on the money. Seventh fret. Five cents sharp. Five cents sharp. G open and first fret. touch. I am not death gripping this. Okay, so that's 7 cent sharp. Let's go to the B and 12th fret. Perfect. 7th fret. That's pretty darn close too. Octave. 3 cents flat. And again, open string and 
first fret. Five cents share. So open first string and twelfth fret. Seventh fret. Very good. It's slightly flat, about two cents flat. Open string and first fret. Two cents sharp. So it's actually that first string is pretty close. And it's definitely the closest of the six strings. I'm going to do my compensated nut. My final calibration, I'm going to come back and do the exact same test. These are 10 to 46 strings, by the way, concert pitch. Time for the seventh fret and its corresponding octave. Twelfth fret, fret and note. Open. And first fret. A string. And the D string. And these are the final values on that compensated nut for the PRS. 10 to 46, concert pitch. So when the guitar is finally intonated, one of the exercises that I like to kind of go through, and I'm sure you've heard me do it before, I like to use three note sequences to check the intonation. <laughs> I'm using first finger, second finger, so one, two, and four. I'm not using my third finger at all. Kind of a lazy guitar player's way to get some uh, interesting harmonic mechanisms happening. Yeah, I'll kind of walk through this type of sequence from several different angles. So just to give you an example, in this one I'll, I'll have the top voice move. Or I could go through that same sequence again and have the bass note descend. So when I hop across the guitar from one set of strings, in this case the fourth, the second, and the first string, to the fifth, the third, and the second string, so here's another sequence from the sixth, fourth, and third string to the fifth third and second string and then lastly to the fourth second and first string so here's that whole sequence we do it up here it's kind of a fun way to generate ideas another thing I'll practice is going from the 4th, 2nd, and 1st string down to the 6th, 4th, and 3rd string. So you get this kind of thing. So The thing 
fingering does change slightly, so I kind of drop that second finger, which I sliced open, incidentally. I work with chisels and saws and razor knives and razor blades, and I cut myself doing the dishes. Broken plate in the sink. Probably could have used a couple of stitches. It's just so ironic that uh, I would cut myself doing the dishes. Well, there you go. That's another subject completely beyond the scope of this video. <laughs> around for a while and you're Canadian you'll understand what I mean by this is the Bob and Doug McKenzie harmonic technique on the guitar the reason I call it that is because I use one two four the whole time the nice thing about the key of E minor all those open strings are also available. So instead of just going I did not use this third finger once. that in a 12 8 it's one two three four five six one two three four five six and if I do it a, an eight count it like two times four instead of two times six it'd be one two three four one two three four it'd be nice to kind of share that. This is Saturday morning and uh, my week's done. I've got my Moderna shot. Can't believe it. At least the first shot. No side effects. this movement here you know was the the movement that uh, Paul McCartney made famous of course with his blackbird using diatonic tense which is quite beautiful on the guitar it's kind of a way to orchestrate using a big wide interval So what this exercise is, is basically a tenth, like we just discussed, but you're adding that middle note, so it's a sixth from this root. Those of you that are interested in the sort of technical side of the setup, I do have a compensated nut on this uh, PRS. Float, uh, set up the vibrato bar to float yeah, if you're handle. interested in that type of thing. I just thought I would share this sort of musical exploration thing with you. Hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you're having a great weekend. Cheers. <laughs>